We are back with another burger challenge and this time we're challenging Barry to make the best burger he can in under 10 minutes. Baz, how are you feeling? Uh, I'm not going to lie to you, I don't usually get nervous in this setup, but today I'm bricking it. That's because we've got an audience watching you. <laughs> Baz, you have the same set of ingredients as everyone else to make your burger, but You've also brought in three mystery ingredients that you would love to add to your burger. What have you brought in? I've chosen a hollandaise sauce, a prawn. Ooh. I'm not, not going to lie to you, Baz, it's a big old prawn. I didn't pick that prawn, thanks Kush. It's not a 10 minute prawn. Uh, and an egg. Singular or half a dozen? Oh, we'll see how it oh, goes. No, oh, there's only five. <laughs> <laughs> Right, well, you might have the chance to win those, but first you've got to answer some trivia questions. Oh, this is where it's going to start badly. Our next contender in the burger challenge is Barry Taylor. Age, solidly mid-30s. Recently left Hertfordshire to head to Hampshire. Yep, he loves a shire. Favourite dish, God knows why, green cloud eggs and we all know him better as the Prince of Pointless Pretentiousness. He does have a unique and rather annoying skill. It's leaving the hob on. Baz, don't you know we're in an energy crisis? That's it, we're all rooting for you, Bazla. Crack on, it's back to the studio. Question number one. In our first <laughs> Ultimate Burger battle, you made a superhero burger, and it's fair to say the community hated it. But <laughs> what was the one ingredient that got them most mad? Oh, I think there was charcoal and avocado involved. And what would, what would f off people more? It's gotta be the avocado. No, no, blueberries. You're lucky I don't have to take your first answer. Blueberries is correct. Yes! yes! Barry Taylor, question number two. The largest burger ever made was in 2017 and it weighed 1,164.2 kilograms. <laughs> what? But where was it made? A, America. B, Germany, or C, Canada? I'm gonna go C, Canada. Barry Taylor, that's wrong, it was Germany. <sighs> oh yeah, obvious, <laughs> Hamburg. Hamburg. Uh, yeah, obvious. Yeah. One out of two correct so far. Question number three. In our Pass It On vegetarian episode where you blowtorched a pepper, yeah. you said this. <laughs> the longer X spends considering what to make, the less time he has to screw it up. Who are you talking about? Am I referring to my... Am I talking about myself in third person? That so, sounds like me. <laughs> no, I'm going to go Jamie Paul Romano Spafford. Is the correct answer. Yeah, of course. Yeah. I don't think that's a very fair statement. It's not a very fair statement, but Barry, I'm very happy. You've got two out of your three mystery ingredients. Which two are you going to pick? I, <laughs> I'll give you honest, I was only expecting to get one right. So, let's go for hollandaise and a prawn. Yeah. Whoa! Excellent. It's burger time. Right, Baz, you've got your ingredients. You have 10 minutes if you need it. Use as much or as little of that as you need. Your time starts in three, two, one, burger. Right, go go on, on, on. Go thank on. you. I'm starting straight away with this. I asked for a prawn because I wanted a surf and turf burger. What do you mean? What am I going to do with that? It's too big. I've got to fit it into a burger. Cut it in. Look at. Usually there's an intestine truck, but here, look at that. <laughs> What do I do with that? Eat it. Eat it. Flavor? I'm not going to put it in the burger. Thumb oh it goodness. out. It's better than thumbing it in. Uh, Ebbers. Oh. Barry, oh. Barry, you've not started a burger yet. That's a row. They're babies. It's going to have to do. It's going to have to do. It's going to have to wash my hands. Oh, oh, oh wrong board. board. You asked this board. for a raw fish board and a clean oh, no. board. <laughs> okay, oil into a pan. Oil into a pan. Oil. Come on, Baz, and you then can do this. This is going in. Oh, season, season. I'm panicking already. It's only been 30 seconds. Well, and some. Season, oh, season. Ha, ha, ha. Go. Yay. Yay. Okay, right. uh, clean down, wash that down. And then we need to focus on the burger for the burger yeah. challenge. <laughs> uh, right, so I'm thinking here, I'm going for a flip flat burger. So, squash this together, wow. roughly, into one big ball. One load big of burger. oil, please. And then burger in, oh, and then okay. I need to push this down or flatten oh, it out. What are you talking about? Oh, what are you talking about? You, you, you do you. Oh, in a pan? <laughs> what are you talking about? That's this is your thing. challenge. You do you. Right, and then push. Get it down. 
Yeah, yeah oiling was a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> right, get on. I want to basically smash this out as big as possible and as flat as possible. Has he seen the size of his buns? Oh, yeah. Bear with you, Abbas, bear with me. Yeah, happy, that happy, that's right. So the plan here is that has to now cook. You want the edges to go really crispy, bring it together, and when you start seeing the bloody juices rise to the top, you know the bottom's done. Right, so while that's going, let's get on to our uh, slaw. So we've got red onion. Take okay. control, you've got okay, this. Okay, now I want this to be really, really thin. Uh, and this is gonna be like a you know, bun. Hollandaise, Talk and then I can't do those things. <laughs> yeah, I want to go bun. I got Hollandaise, and then I want to really finely slice slaw. So in your slaw, you're putting your three veggie items. I am. Nice. nice. Don't need too much. We're only making one burger, so really thin slice of that. And I want some gherkins as well. That's curling. Do I need to put a little of that? Yeah. Huh. That'll do. <laughs> this is uh, so wonderfully ad lib. Uh, and then... And he's slowly scattering ingredients uh, around the kitchen. <laughs> Shut this back. Yeah. And then I need my gherkins in there as well. How's my beef looking? Get your fingers in. So best way. In yeah, it's the best way to do it. Cutlery on the in. side. Yay! Yeah! What are you talking about? The wince from the chefs They're all the friends. Cooking. Don't put finger in pickles. They're pickles. They go soggy. What do you mean they go soggy? They're already soggy. That goes in there. <laughs> nice, Jubbly. Okay. Looking I think good. that is good for a flip. Huh? I'll do it in a minute, Kush! And then I wanna. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, uh, oh. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh -huh. yeah. One, two, three. Huh. Huh. <laughs> go on, third time lucky. Yes! Uh, yummy, 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 yummy. Right. Go, go, go. And whilst on the other side, I wanna get one bit of cheese on there, and another bit on there. Yes, And mate. then I need to start toasting my buns. So, oven preheated. Smart. Bread going in. How's your prawn looking, mate? Prawn is still there. <laughs> so, let's give that a flip. Where, where is it going to go? I don't know. It's not the shape I expected it to be. <laughs> so, let's just keep that going. I need some water in there. Water. Kettle. Beer. Empty. Beer is water. That's an extra ingredient. That is oh. an extra ingredient. Oh. <laughs> forgive me, forgive me. Right, now that burger's looking good. I need to go for a flip flap. What's the flip flap? Flip flap is a. We're about to see it. I flipped it and now I'm flapping it. Okay. Oh, so you've got all the cheese in the middle. Basically, it's a juicy Lucy, Jamie. Nice. nice. So that's done. Let's get it off the heat. Turn yeah, it off. Yeah, with the handle off. over the heat. Careful. Oh. oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Right. So there. That's off. That's off. That's still going. I hope that's going to be cooked in time. Uh, now <laughs> I need to. Hollandaise buns! <laughs> No, they're not perfect, but they'll have to do. I mean, right, this is down, wonderful clear chaos. Clear down, clear down. I love this. Huh, huh, huh. Hollandaise is now. Yes. I need a cloth. No, I don't. Right, grab a cloth from behind. Hands, hands. Ha, shamana, 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 shamana. Right, lightly toasted. <laughs> lightly toasted. And then I need some hollandaise. That is a perfect toast. Right. Now, that's going here. So I thought hollandaise is like, it's sharper than mayonnaise. I thought it would go well with the, uh, with the prawn. And then I want. I thought you were going to mix the the the, the holidays into the no. slaw. No, he's I want to nice. in the holidays. Right. <laughs> he's putting his shirt in the holidays. Your goodness, all going wrong. Come on, mate. And then I want my burger on top. Yeah, sloppy. Look how look how sloppy that is. Yes, I'm happy with that. And then, all right. Oh! oh. And then, we need, that's, that's gonna melt. Right, and then, oh no, I hadn't thought this through. Come on, mate. Hup. Yes. It's going that way around. Yeah, nice. I think we need some more hollandaise on top. Ring yeah. the bell when you're done. Hollandaise, yes. Oh, look yeah. on the dribble. Yes. Oh yeah. Phil, bun on top. Ring the bell. No! <laughs> 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 wow! Nicely done! Was that how you thought it was going to go? Not at all! <laughs> but I'm sure it'll taste nice. Let's get it into the sexies. <laughs> Baz, that was more chaotic than normal. Oh, I know. That was harder than I expected. 
I think Kush didn't help you, if I'm honest. No! No. Mainly with no. a massive prawn. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to do with a massive cannon. Right, cut into it, um, and then we'll have a chat about what on earth is your thinking. Right, okay. <laughs> wow. Hey, I think we need the cross section. I think. Look at that <laughs> prawn! I mean, there's surf and turf, and then there's <laughs> all, the, all surf. the turf with even more surf. Okay. Oh, you've got such a soggy bottom. Thanks, honey. <laughs> Sun. Oh, that is unbearable. What do you mean? I've put, th put my thumb through it. <laughs> You've got a generous piece as well here. Oh, thank you. I'm not sure how. And the burger. And the, yep. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, I'm going to be honest. Your prawn <laughs> is cooked perfectly. <laughs> it is just. That was, that was just. Lucky. Look at that. That does look incredible. Right. Cheers. I think what is amazing in that burger is the beef part of it Ooh. plays second fiddle. Ooh. That yeah. is all about the hollandaise, the gherkin, and the prawn. Mm -hmm. And it's delicious. The hollandaise does add such a nice difference to mayonnaise. Mm. It's, it's creamier and tangier. I was hoping the hollandaise and the gherkins create like a, almost a tartar sauce yeah. kind of mm. vibe. Yeah, kind of does. Mm. A little crunch of raw onion is nice in a burger. And your patty is excessively sized. Mm -hmm because I don't think you flipped or flapped <laughs> quite as many times as you'd hoped, but because you were flipping and flapping in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. That is a really great, very sloppy burger. Goodness knows where the egg would have gone if you got that as well. <laughs> oh yeah, that would have gone on top. This <laughs> might have been a step too far. Right, what are you saying, Jay? Does it pass? It passes the taste test. Okay, good. 100%. Good. And the fact that it was sub 10 minutes, it can go on the board. Okay, good, phew. But now, in order to find out where on the board, we need you to give it a name. Well, I think to describe both the burger, the prawn, and my behaviour, it's got to be a flappy prawn burger. A flappy prawn burger. Don't Google that. Oh. It feels, it, you know what I mean? Oh. <laughs> no, I don't know what you mean. But speedily, let's move along to the time. Your time for the sub 10 minute burger challenge, the flappy prawn burger, was seven minutes and 45 oh. seconds. Up there in time, what? which means down there on the leaderboard, but damn tasty. I'm, I'm happy the burger, I am disappointed with the time because I could have been a lot more efficient. I feel like I, I could have shaved a decent minute or two, I yeah. reckon, if I was more organised, but... Great effort, great fun. Well done, Baz. <laughs> and you may have noticed in the audience of that one, we had some very special guests. Believe it or not, they're up next. <laughs> But we don't just want familiar faces taking on the challenge, we want unfamiliar faces. <laughs> people maybe we don't like, maybe people we don't know <laughs> yes. yet. Comment down below who should be taking on the challenge. And if you like this series, give it a thumbs up, let us know.